I just enjoy sitting there and thinking about stuff. Physics is but one of the few subjects where I can just basically just do that. I, I just look at what I'm curious at at that point and then I just go with it. Right? So which means that very often it leads to surprise. I am Chong Wang. Uh, I'm a faculty member at Perimeter. Uh, I, I'm a theorist. I think about how the, a many-body quantum system like electrons, atoms, uh, in a, for example, piece of solid or in some quantum device, uh, how do they uh, interact with each other and form various phases of matter. My goal in physics is to you know, write down some result that I think is elegant and beautiful, and then I just sit there, stare at that result. How do we understand the behavior when many uh, particles interact quantum mechanically and what are the possible emergent phenomena? Right? How, what, are the, what are the new phases of matter that are possible because of quantum mechanics? Certain weird aspects of quantum mechanics shows up even at the macroscopic level, right? We as human beings actually don't observe, you know, at least in our day-to-day -day life, we don't observe the behavior of one or two electrons, right? We mostly observe the behavior of, I don't know, billions of atoms made, you know, put together and how they, the kind of solid or liquid. What we've learned over the past century or even older from uh, kind of matter of physics is that the behavior of many particles can be very different from how an individual atom or electrons move, uh, how, how they behave, right? Uh, there's, a, there's a huge gap between this macroscopic emergent behavior and microscopic uh, law of physics. And very often, during this uh, emergence, the quantum, me quantum mechanics get lost, essentially, once you go to the macroscopic level. That's why we don't usually feel quantum mechanics in our daily life. The modern lesson is that that's not always the case. It, uh, there are cases where quantum mechanics persist to some level um, you know, uh, at the macroscopic level. And then uh, to make sense of those those materials, those phenomena, you really have to get used to quantum mechanics. You really have to say, okay, this is the law of physics. Uh, that's how we uh, make sense of it. Yeah, so that's, that's actually part of, the, part of the exciting thing. It's possibilities that we've never contemplated. The fact is, okay, we've understood the difference between gas and water and, 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 and solids for hundreds of years. We've known the existence of magnet for like, thousands of years. Um, uh, 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 but now we are like discovering new forms of matter or new phases of matter like you know every couple of years or something it gives me a sense of satisfaction I think that's why I want to do this I think the reason to to do physics to begin with is to or at least for me right is to realize that there's something that looks elegant and beautiful here I want to be part of this <laughs>